This is Fox 13 News. All murder suspects in Memphis are now being put into a national FBI database. Now, this move comes after a Fox 13 investigation uncovered a problem with the current policy. We told you yesterday about how fixing the mistake helped lead to the arrest of the IHOP murder suspect. Fox 13's Zach Crenshaw has been working on this story for months following it along. And Zach, you just found out your story about the FBI database has led the MPD to make some pretty significant changes here. It really has, Daryl. The full MPD NCIC policy is still under review, but a spokesperson told me tonight that all first and second degree murder suspects are now being entered into the database. It's a small distinction from their previous policy, but it could have a very big impact when it comes to catching accused killers. U.S. Marshals arrested Derek Harris in Chicago Wednesday. They were able to uh, isolate the apartment that he was in, and then uh, once they received word, of where he was, uh, the place was surrounded. Harris was wanted for first degree murder. Three weeks ago though, the only place police would have known that was Shelby County. See, Harris wasn't in the national FBI database called NCIC because the MPD policy left it up to an investigator's discretion. Our story changed that. Tonight, the MPD told me, quote, all first or second degree murder suspects will be entered into NCIC. The database is secret, law enforcement only. Once an arrest is made outside Shelby County, extradition has to be considered, which is the rationale for District Attorney Amy Wyrick's office approving each entry. I spoke with her last week. How can you convince us, law enforcement agency, us the prosecutors, that this is a solid case and that this is the person responsible for this crime? Just because someone is arrested in another city, like Harris in Chicago, does not mean Shelby County has to spend the money to transport him back. Sources told me there is zero downside to putting every single suspect with a local murder warrant into NCIC. DA Wyrick says they always approve the serious offenders. I don't recall a situation um, that this office has ever said no. You can't put somebody into NCIC. But in Harris's case, it never even got to Wyrick. Now, the MPD is making sure that won't happen again. Now, I also reached out to the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. They do not automatically put their murder suspects into NCIC either. They get approval through the District Attorney's Office. Now, I reached out to District Attorney Wyrick to see if that is something that she would be open to changing, that automatic approval. She was not available to talk or do an interview today, but it is something that we are going to follow up on. Reporting live tonight outside Tillman Station, Zach Crenshaw, Fox 13 News.